Okay, so we're, we're live um, on camera. Okay, so what it was like, you know, when I went to meet um, Dr. Hawkins for the first time, because I went to, to visit him twice a few years apart, um, as soon as I landed in um, Arizona and Sedona, it was like the whole place had a kind of a healing energy, and I had this horrible kind of cough. It started to dry up. And uh, so it was like the whole environment was, um, was miraculous. It was like a healing energy just in, in the vicinity. And then the first time I met Hawkins, the first time I met Hawkins, I was at a very low level of consciousness. I hadn't done that much spiritual work. And uh, the very first time I went into a lecture theatre with him, it was like I had a horrific headache. And uh, it was basically like feeling like my ego was being tortured. Because uh, uh, he would speak and it was, like, it was like, it was like a massive splitting headache. And it was like everything he was saying, my ego hated it. You know, so it was, that was what it was like. But I did, uh, I think I did shake his hands. And when I shook his hands, because I knew I had to get his grace, it was like um, the toe, I had like, um, like a tingling, a pleasurable tingling in my toes. And I knew that he'd passed the vibrational transcending gout through his vibration. Because I knew that was like a mystical sign because he had transcended all his illnesses and he had transcended the gout that, that I did. Um, and uh, so, that, you know, and I, I got to see him twice on the first visit and I got him, you know, it was, it was like meeting, you know, he was my teacher, so I got him to autograph a load of books. I got him to... Um, I got him to bless my cross, my cross with Jesus on it. I had a photo taken with him. And then the second time I went was after a few years, and I'd done a lot of spiritual work. And the next time, when I went to see him the second time, there was no headache. And I think I'd done like a lot of work with Hawkins, of course, the miracles mm -hmm. and spiritual work. So there was no headache next time. I think I'd gone up a lot in consciousness. And, uh, but I do remember, and he was talking, he was giving a lecture on peace. And I do remember going into a place of infinite silence and infinite peace, as he talked about peace. Uh, and it was, so they were very, uh, very profound. But it was very interesting that when I was at a low level of consciousness, my experience of him was different to when I'd done a lot of spiritual work, where I went into a state of infinite, infinite peace. And the first time I had a really bad headache. Because it was like I was hearing things that my ego didn't want to hear. It felt like my ego was being slaughtered, basically. I had a splitting headache. And they just didn't want to hear the things he was saying. So, um, so, I, you know, so I think everyone's experience of meeting Hawkins is very, very different, depending on where they're at in their level of consciousness. But it is, um, it is very inspiring. I remember one guy going, if you, if you watch the... DVDs of Hawkins would seek. Uh, the, you know, I remember one Indian guy would, would go like, uh, was going like every month. He would travel from Austria to go and visit because most people would go into a state of infinite bliss, so they just want to go back again for more bliss and more bliss over and over again. So yeah, it was it was very very different. I think the experience of enlightened teachers is very different depending on where you're at. But you know, after I did see him, like so many miracles happened, so it was it was well worth it, and uh, a lot of stuff was transcended. <laughs>